Good shot. That's oh. a nice shot. The bunker in play down the right side with that three wood. Come up short of the one on the left. Bounding down there. That's a beautiful tee shot. JB, five yards closer, trying to get the same result. 137. Just a wedge. Got at it full, so he's trying to put some spin on this one. Did look a good swing. Luckily, he doesn't get the spin. Cracking short, they're really taking it on. No fear of these players nowadays. Yeah, I looked at that. I didn't think that was an easy putt, that. A little swile. As he gathers from three sides everywhere but the right side, the ball will get back towards the pin. Yeah, that was a good swing. He yeah, turned through that beautifully. It was really controlled. Clearly loved the club. Last on the tee, J.B. Hansen. Watched him working with his coach on the range. Thomas Larson. Coach is the national team from Denmark and Nikolai Hoygaard, amongst others. I'm obviously doing a very good job. She maybe had a little word with him about the potting green. Yeah, just over 300 yards to the pin, 304. So again, trying to get as close as he can. Yeah, going at it with driver as well. He has drilled that one, hasn't right. it? How good did that look? Oh, yeah, brilliant. And it's not that wide down there. But how about that? Yeah, but he drew it as well. I mean, it was only, it was only seven degrees aloft on the club face. Go on, be good to him. It's going to be a birdie. But it's a two-pot birdie, kind of, from off the green. Up the face now, 143 yards to go, downwind. Got to get this properly. How about that? What a shot! I thought he just had to make sure he got it over that front bunker. That would have left him an awful shot. Not only that, he staggered in there to about eight feet. Beautifully hold. Yeah, I had a look at that pin position in my yardage book this morning. I thought, hang on, they've got that cut on the steep slope at the back. JB Hansen on the seventh tee, the par five. Bunker down the left hand side, 290 to 329. One of the things in the player's mind. A little bit of wind assisted so they can get past that with a good one. Set up a drive and an iron. Just exactly what he was trying to do. Yeah, that'll do very nicely. This one a little bit of a double breaker, breaks right to left to start with, and just at the hole looks to me as that goes back the other way. Yeah, very good read by Tim Barter, and pretty good read by Hansen as well. It'll be a birdie. Still has not had a drop shot. He and Rosner were the only two the first two days. He's the last man standing in terms of that. 221 yards into the wind off the right hand side. Flag as we've seen hard against the water. With a swale behind it. There is some contour to the right of the pin you can use to draw the ball back in. Once it gets over that hump, it's downhill and then breaks from right to left. But the hump could get you into trouble here if you misjudge it. Just it pretty well. Yeah, downwind, pitching on a downslope as well. So you'll be a little bit aware of how the ball's going to react. Yeah, I don't think you would have done much better than that if you'd have got it closer. But unfortunate, I was yeah, expected to grab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that. Maybe blocked it a little bit. Started right, didn't it?
outstanding, outstanding for JB Hansen. Terrific professionalism. Beautifully executed and planned out. It's JB Hansen. Uh, that is lovely, isn't it? A little bit like Samoya. Difficult to see on the evidence of this week why he's been uh, struggling so far this season, which he has been, relatively speaking. There's a wide fairway, probably 40 yards. How's his fork? Not too bad. Finds the face. JB Hansen for the birdie at 12 to open up a two shot lead. There we go. This is impressive stuff, isn't it? Still no bogeys this week. So I think the par five infinitely reachable, but you've got to avoid that right hand bunker that eats into the fairway and narrows it down to just 20 yards. Down the left wing, is it too far left? Not really. Oh, nice balance. That makes a difference coming in off the short grass for control. They're a good team, JB Hansen and Adam Drummond. Drummond been catting for him for a while now, the Aussie. And they get it right most of the time. I tell you what, that is unlucky. I mean, that must have looked, yeah, he, he's not going to believe that's come up short. I mean, that pitch went backwards. It's not as long, but very efficient, as we've seen. Just starting this down the right, that is natural draw, and the wind move it over into the centre of the fairway. You mentioned it earlier on today, this, this swing has got a lot more repetitive, hasn't it? Yeah, it just, it, it doesn't move off the ball, his shoulders used to sort of almost sway back a little bit, and then it was obviously hard to match back and down, but that's all gone now, he stays over it, it's much more centred. That's that down slow, it's going to deal off that club slightly. And that was what I was just thinking about. He's unfortunately a quarter of a degree or whatever, and he's just gone over the back of the green as a result. No guarantee how this one's gonna behave. Yeah, I don't I don't see that at all. If you've got a good lie like that, I'd use the tail of the club and be aggressive with it. I don't see that at all. For the part. So the streak comes to an end. Well, how will JB react to that first bogey in such a long time? Hasn't got the power to get to the green in these wind conditions. I don't think we need a shooting bounce to do so. Yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? That's exactly what he was trying to do. Pitch it on the front, left half, release it out. Eagle putt now, over a little ridge, breaking right to left. A bit of grain change about there. He's just powered that through it. That needs to hang on. Trying to quieten the right side down. Beautifully done. Good three. Nice birdie. Yeah, the wind's really picked up just down the 17th hole into off the right right bunker therefore very much in the equation yeah. 278 to reach 294 to get it past Pretty good. master play hansen just driving that one in under the breeze curtailed follow through It's another excellent shot, and he's hit a lot of those so far this week. 
Yeah, birdie at 16, another one there at 17, and the Dane does move. One clear of Francesco Laporta. Oh, it sounded good. It is good. And it is really well played. Another, I mean, two iffy lies in a row. Makes his five. It is a third round 67 for Joachim B. Hansen. So he will head into the final day at 19 under. JB, another good day out there. You had your first bogey, uh, bogey uh, that you've had in, uh, in three days. Run us through your round today. Six birdies. Uh, very good from Teaser Green. My, the best I've ever played from Teaser Green. Uh, missed a lot of good chances in the beginning uh, and a few on the back now. Um, so, uh, I mean, all in all, 5 under is a good score, but could, uh, could have been a lot better. And on the last, that was a little tricky one down the hill. You know, was that a bit of a relief? Uh, yeah, I mean, the lie was all right. It just got a bit too steep on it and uh, catch too much sand in that third shot. So. But the uh, fourth shot up to the pin was uh, was a nice one. And you, you're right where you want to be, the top of the leaderboard. You're comfortable with that going in tomorrow? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it and see uh, see how that's going to be. Hopefully another beautiful day and see whatever it's going to be at the end. And is there a strategy for tomorrow? Because, you know, everyone seems to be going low out there. No, yeah, I'm patient. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of chances out there. So just stay in the, stay in the patient and uh, see what happens. Well, best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, and if you to watch another European tour video, click here and to subscribe, click here.